Well, Wayne, we've really been incredibly blessed tonight to have you with us and to speak as you have done. It's been a wonderful experience. And as you've heard, I think most of us have been challenged. Please God, all of us have been challenged. I think Father Peter's been challenged too. <laughs> We've all been confronted, if you like, by the way that you have expressed the gospel tonight and the way that you have called us to really think about our own lives and where we're going and what's happening in our own community as we try to live out the gospel story. It certainly has been challenging, as I said, to listen to you and to call us to reflect. And I think, too, that it offers us a vision that no matter where we are and what we're doing, there is always, if you like, work to be done. And I really enjoyed what you said there towards the end, that it's not a matter, matter of uh, bashing ourselves up and being down on ourselves. It's keeping the question in mind. It's keeping the reality of life there. And Calcutta is in Hobart. And we see it all around us, we know. And all through Tasmania, it's here, through Australia. And Wayne, you've, you've awakened us to this tonight. And it's really been fantastic. I think in the John Wallace group, as Chris said, of which I'm a member, and a part of the highways and byways, in our small grants program, we do what we can to reach out to small groups, encouraging them, working with them, and we are inspired by them, but also I think tonight you have offered us, Wayne, an inspiration to really keep going and to keep searching and to keep finding ever more ways to find the vision of Christ in the activities that we do. So Wayne, it's really been, as I said, truly wonderful to listen to you tonight. If I was still in the parish, I'd hunt up some money and get you down for six months to preach every Sunday. I <laughs> I think you could really turn it on, so it would be marvellous. But unfortunately, I can't do that now. So, Wayne, thank you very, very much. It's been great, and I really do hope that this, what you have said tonight through the live streaming will reach out to more and more people, because I think the more people who, who can witness what you have said tonight will be also inspired and also hopefully challenged to do and to reach more deeply into the gospel story. So I want to thank you and I'd ask everyone to express their gratitude, please. Thank you.